What's up you guys, Idiot Fliptronic. So I'm going to be helping you guys out if your Apple ID is disabled. So uh, some of the reasons this might be happening is that you uh, entered your password incorrectly too many times in a row, which is uh, usually the case. Um, and then if you haven't used your Apple ID in a really long time, then uh, it's going to ask you to update some questions and stuff. And you can't remember those or you're having some issues with that, then uh, you're kind of in a tough spot. But I've got some tips to help you guys out. So uh, if you're disabled, what you want to do is head over to... Um, appleid.apple.com. I'll put the uh, link in the description box, but as soon as you head over there, there's going to be some options on here that says uh, forgot Apple ID or password. So pretty much you can just click on one of those and you'll get some uh, email sent to you, um, which will uh, help you out to get back into your uh, Apple ID. The other thing you guys could do um, if you're having some issues with that option and you can't even remember what email you used and you're still disabled, you could head over to getsupport.apple.com. Um, you guys can send them a message or you could talk to an employee there and they'll help you out with it as well. But I'd recommend the first option. So just try to figure out what your email use was to get your ID or password change. And then um, you can also try the getsupport.apple.com if you're having some issues. I'll put both links in the description box, you guys. But if your Apple ID is disabled because you were entering the password too many times or it's just been inactive, it's pretty easy to get it back up. So thanks for watching this video, guys. Please like it. Stay tuned for more and be sure to subscribe to our channel.